it is no longer a speculation. The IEC was never ready. They have been shifting votes from one party to another. The result board was off in the morning. We could not see which political parties gained how many votes. Something went wrong. The intelligence of the IEC, the software has been tampered with. It has been hacked, went from 50% of the votes that has been calculated to zero and now back at 55%. What is going on in the IEC? We've always suspected that there's something wrong with these results. Where are the DA voters coming from? And where is the EFF voters? They don't know how to shift these things anymore and lie to us. But we can see right through them. Welcome to King Said So. Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite. Your Pan Africanist podcast. Enjoy. I will just step out of short and just show you uh, that dashboard currently. Uh, the results are not being reflected on that dashboard. We are not sure whether it's a technical issue that the IEC is experiencing. Uh, we are going to try and get an update from the IEC themselves. Uh, the dashboard has been like this for the past few minutes, um, but we are sure that uh, the results are still being counted by the IEC officials. Uh, but indeed, Mr. step out of shot so you can also just see what's happening here. It seems the system has crashed. Um, it sounds like the same is happening on your end. Um, um, we're not sure what uh, the issue is, but we're, we'll obviously try and find out where the issue is there. But um, earlier, when we still had some results on the board, um, the MK was still in the lead with about 45%. Um, and the NC trailing behind that at 23%, and we had um, uh, the IFP and the DA follow um, after that. Interestingly, the DA... Peace in pan Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I'm your host, King053, Mr. Easy Mali, and we're back at it again with another one, the IEC Fatons for One. IEC Irritella Sebono. Listen, people, this system that went off of the IEC is going to disturb the creditability. Of the IEC, not that we we did not question the IEC. I told you guys before the elections that the IEC is not ready for a system hack. There is no intelligence in South Africa to stop the system hack, and I have predicted again that the system hack will happen again before the closing of the results. And the second time when it happens, it's going to be a much longer, a much longer period before the system comes back on. They're going to hack the system, play with the numbers and come back. We've always asked, where is the DA getting these votes? Where is the DA getting these votes? Are you trying to tell me the EFF winning the student councils, the varsities, the colleges, all of those children all of a sudden woke up and vote for the DA? Huh? And I, I said, there is no way you can tell me that Gaten McKenzie is doing uh, great the same time as the EF, as the DA. There is no way the DA can gain supporters the same time as the Freedom Front Plus, as Action SA. All of those parties that are anti-liberating um, uh, black people, they are doing well, all of them, at the same time. And it is clear that those people only get their votes from the DA. Where is Action SA getting their voters from? From the DA. Where is BOSA getting their votes from? From the DA. Where is Patriotic Alliance getting their votes from? From the DA. But the board is not reflecting that. The board is not reflecting that. So you are telling me they hate the, the EFF so much that they will rather pick up the MK. They hate the EFF so much because of the open border, apparently, that they will rather pick up the, the, the PA, I mean the, D, uh, the, the MK. Something is not adding up, man. The maths is not matching, man. The maths is not matching here. So now, the smaller political parties that are not doing well, your Azapos, your even your bosses, your, your, the PAC, uh, all these small political parties are now going to question if this, this uh, result system going off 
if indeed it is now credi uh, creditable, can it be trusted? It can't be trusted. The observers who are coming here to observe the, the elections are going to say, no, the, the, the elections in South Africa, something was wrong. The system went off, not even in Zimbabwe, where the system went off. You understand what I'm saying? We knew what was happening, not even in Kenya, not even in, in Ghana, not even in Senegal, that the results went off. Not even in Nigeria. The results went off. It switched off. Guys, what now? What now? Yesterday, you guys were laughing at us uh, when we said peace in pan-Africanism, that being a pan-Africanist is very difficult. Julius Malema and the EFF is being punished for wanting to unite South Africa with uh, integrating them with the, the other countries like Zimbabwe, Nigeria, all the countries in Africa. You, you guys made a joke, black people making a joke about un unifying Africa. <laughs> yeah, we still have a long way to go. We still have a long way to go as black people. Black people don't want to unite uh, United, uh, United uh, Nations of Africa. Black people want South Africa to do good so that Zimbabwe can suffer and Zimbabweans must stay in Zimbabwe and don't come here. But it's funny they don't say that about their colonizers. It's funny they don't say that about the Dutch. It's funny they don't say that about the British. It's funny they don't say that about the Chinese. It's funny they, 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 they are happy to have those people here, but not Africans. But anyway, this video is not about that. Before I lose uh, my train of thought, I even got a call. You guys harassed me on my, on my um, uh, WhatsApp, on my emails, calls, saying, listen, King, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on as i was recording this video my phone was going off but because it was um, one of the channel sponsors i had to i had to stop and and pick up and hear what my brother my brother from angola called me mr francisco santos said listen king what's going on did you see the system was off i said i saw it my brother i saw it <laughs> we don't fear our opinion is very clear we don't trust the iec we don't trust anything they do. We don't trust these results. Um, you know, and the system is, is strategically placed in such a way that you can't question it. The final person who captures the results, captures, who captures, uh, I don't want to swear, man. You know, after the results sip, after they count the, the, the results from the, from the ballot box, they write it on a result slip, and that result slip is what ultimately feeds the feeds the the main system. The person who's capturing the results there is capturing nonsense. It's capturing nonsense. You can't tell me that the DA is better than the EFF. No ways. No ways. We'll accept it because what can we do? But they are showing us, the IEC is slowly showing us incompetency. Ballot box is lost. Um, the, all of those things that happen in terms of them giving the, 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 the white people in the UK and the US two days to vote. Giving uh, special voters two days to vote. But when it comes to us here as black people, uh, we had to wait in long queues. And then because we had only 24 hours to vote, and they closed the, 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 the voting stations, keeping people away. You would think that the IEC would be happy with people coming in and voting and just extend it to the next morning, extend it to 9 o'clock the next morning. Let everyone who is registered to vote, vote. Why? Because you want to, bre you want to beat your previous record. You want to beat that everyone must come and vote, you know. You want to make sure that you prove to the people that we were ready for these elections. We were ready for this big turnout of numbers of the uh, 27 million people who registered to vote. The IEC was supposed to do that. But it started there by closing the gates, closing the stations. You know, it's, it's such an unfair system that is happening here. And if you are watching from anywhere in Africa, if you are watching from anywhere in, in, in around the world, you must know that we South Africans... Are not happy with this with this IEC. They were not ready to capture the results of our country. 
They were not ready. And I say to the, the, the fighters, don't despair. Don't despair. A low number that they are trying to give to the EFF might work to their advantage in a coalition government. The ANC might need to go to bed with the, the EFF. I don't see any scenario where the ANC says, come, let me sleep with the DA on a national uh, platform and trying to give that um, uh, that white boy, uh, Stian Hazen, uh, the deputy president. I don't see that. We're going to speak about that later. The IC is simply not ready. The IC was not ready. The IC was not ready. System was off. Why was the system off? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to hear the reasons. Let me check if they have already uh, replied to the reasons. I mean, it's a, it's a complete joke. It's a complete joke. <laughs> Yo, I know, guys. It's a complete joke, guys. I'm, 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 I'm just waiting to see if the IEC have responded to uh, what are they saying? Let me check. There's a letter. That the electrical com confirms that it has experienced interruption in the replication of data from the national data center and the various results operation centers okay um, the data the data in the data system remains intact and the results have not been uh, compromised all services have since been restored and the leaderboard is working normal result processes continue and unaffected that's what they are saying that's what they are saying but nobody's going to believe them now nobody's going to believe these people let us save this, this document so that we, i can display it on the screen nobody is going to believe them anymore there's something fishy that is happening here we might have a recount a, a order of a recount number one the recount is very important because we want to see if they're going to be accurate as they, uh, they they have claimed to be. But remember, there's ballot boxes lying in the streets now. You don't know what is going on. A recount, you don't recount a slip. You recount the, 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 uh, the, the ballot itself. You, you recount the ballot paper itself. You don't recount the slip. You don't just say, no, let's resubmit the slip. The slip is what we are questioning. Recount reorder in 90 days uh if they if um the parties decide no these elections were not free and fair not transparent not creditable then a reorder of a re-election happens in 90 days um that's another possibility push the results uh maybe in august or september re uh, re-election again it's gonna go crazy if that happens um, a possibility of that happening, I don't know. I don't know. We, ha we have to see. Or otherwise, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what is going to happen. I don't know. Would you want to, uh, to go back and cast your, 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 your vote again? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me. I see simply not ready. Um... Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what's going to happen. I've got other videos to do. Uh, let me just quickly get into that before I drive to Limpopo.